Well, hi everyone. Welcome back to our channel. If you are new here, welcome. Please be sure to subscribe and ring the notification bell so you know what's coming up. Today, we have a fantastic tour. This is our very first tour of a sport fish. Now, sport fish, those are pretty common boats in Florida, but what makes this one unique? It's 103 feet long. There's only two of these in the world. This is a West ship built here in Tampa, and there's maybe just a handful of 100 plus foot sport fish in the world. So this is a really big treat for Scott and I. Welcome to Boating Journey. I'm Scott and she's Allie. We own two boats in the Pacific Northwest, but have recently found ourselves boatless after moving to Southern Florida. We moved to be closer to different boating opportunities and the Caribbean, our favorite boating destination. Our goals are to explore the Florida waters, bring you some new boat tours, and hopefully find our next boat. So come along and follow us on our boating journey. So we're gonna start here, uh, which on the back deck, I'm gonna call this maybe a fishing platform. Uh, bear in mind, we are not sport fishermen, so if we don't get everything right, especially me, just bear with us. Go ahead and leave your comments down below, I'm sure you will, but check out this area. This is where you would do your fishing, and we're talking deep sea fishing. So this is a chair uh, where you can sit in, put your feet here, put your rod holder here, and this helps you brace yourself as you are bringing up those big fish. Um, they have plenty of room for people, obviously. This is your live well, so this is where you would put your live fish. Uh, and what's really cool um, is these, these two tanks is where you would put the fish and ice. And you're like, well, where are you going to get all that ice? Well, we're going to show you that. They actually have an ice maker crusher up above. They fill these up with, and that protects your fish uh, from spoiling. This area right here is the engine access. We've got pictures of the engine. We may try to take you down yep. in the engine room as well. We'll have a chance to get in there today. Um, this ship is so big, it has a full crew. We'll give you a tiny peek of the crew quarters because we want to respect their privacy too. It's never been in charter um, and it is really gorgeous. So I'm excited to show you. So let's go on up to the next deck and take a peek. Wow, you could really entertain on this deck. You've got seating for six, and that's giving it plenty. You could pull up a couple more chairs here. Yeah, uh, imagine having a couple of martinis, nice glass of wine. Right here would be perfect. Over here is what I was talking about. This is your ice crusher and deep freezers as well. Um, and you can go pretty far. I've, I don't know the exact range, but I'm going to guess about 1,300 monocle miles. So yeah, you they, they said what it holds about 5,000 gallons. 5,000 gallons of fuel. So yeah. you can really go far. So where do you want to go from here? Should we go to the bow? Yeah, let's go ahead and check out the bow. So we'll just okay. go to the front. It's a huge bow, so there's lots out there. Wow, this is a nice side rail walk around. I mean, I don't even have to hold my hands to, onto anything. Of course, I could if I was in the bad seas. But and these are heavy duty rails. These so. are heavy duty. And if I was in bad seas, I would not be. Uh, uh, you can see that this lifts up. So you do have side boarding as well. That's important. Yep. A lot of the docks here are fixed. So you do need that. Check out this cleat. <laughs> You know. That is not your average cleat. No, I'm <laughs> glad I didn't back into that on my way here. Okay, you do have a step right behind you, so let's okay. check it out. Wow, <laughs> this is not what I was expecting. I don't know what I was it's expecting. It's a huge bow. So you've got a giant crane, uh, and look, look at this um, tender. I think he said it's a, a Hell's Bay. A Hell's Bay, it yeah. looks like it's at least 17 feet At least, maybe yeah. wow you've got a spare anchor here or yep. no yeah spare anchor and again check out these cleats you do have your chain locker chain locker yep it's huge bowsprit yep that's really cool and i mean even the lines are are not what we're used to they're no, just exactly much fatter 
We have a hatch here that leads to the front VIP. VIP room. And I think the key, when you come over here, watch your step, yep. is really when you take a look at just from this angle, um, you know. That's ridiculous. How cool of a yacht this is. And again, if you were to take off those, the fishing decks or the spotting decks, I'm not even quite sure what they're called. Um, you would never know that this was a fishing boat. Oh yeah, wait till you it's see. It's just a beautiful Wait till you boat. see the inside. Yeah. So without further ado, let's go check out the inside. Come along. So let's go on inside. Um, these doors, it took us a little while to figure it out, are, are so cool. They are actually automatic uh, by pressing a button, but it's they're air powered. Yeah, they're air ac accessed rather than electric. How cool is that? How cool is that? Now watch your step. Yes, it does have a little bit of a threshold. Yep. So okay. welcome to the Crown Royal. That's the name of this ship. And these automatically close right behind you. Yeah. Is that cool or what? Wow. There we go. Okay, let's start out here in the entertaining salon. Uh, this is not your <laughs> typical sport fish yacht. I mean, I, one thing I want to say right off the I, bat. I would say this isn't your, even your typical yacht. yacht. This is just amazing. So it's a 2003, so that makes it almost 20 years old. Yeah. If you've been on any boat or yacht that is 20 years old, first of all, it's usually outdated, needs new decor, mm -hmm. and they typically have a smell. Yeah. Typically. This boat smells brand new, and I wouldn't change a thing. No, yeah, very comfortable. I mean, stylish, up to date. I mean, absolutely gorgeous. So here is your lounge area uh, where you can just relax. Look at the size of this bar. <laughs> Cocktails, anyone? And it's got a full bar with a sink, refrigerator, wow. Nice. Yeah, absolutely amazing. Then if you want to dine inside versus outside, how lovely is this? Everything about this is beautiful and stunning. Um, you know, I always talk about storage. This is someone's private yacht, so I'm not going to open anything. But as you can see, it has plenty of storage. I'm going to guess that this is a day head. Yeah which it is. Oh, yeah, nice. Very nice. And that really makes a difference, so you don't have to go downstairs to other people's areas. Um, certainly in love with this galley. Oh, jeez. It's bigger <laughs> than our want in our apartment. It's ridiculous. I mean, first of all, Scott's favorite sink, if you don't know anything about sinks. Look at that sink. Look how it's got big a dishwasher. And deep it is. It's got a uh, Bosch stove top which is electric, my favorite. I hate gas. We've got an, an oven and also microwave, giant pantry, and look at all this counter space. Wow. And it even has a wine cooler. Hey, maybe we should make an offer. We could definitely live on this. What do you think? Yes. <laughs> maybe they'll let us keep it at their dock. <laughs> so before we go check out the state rooms, let's go up to the flybridge and see what it's like. Come on. Wow, aren't these stairs grand? I yes. feel like I'm, you know, arriving to, wow, check this out. Now, this is what you call a bridge. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I don't even know. Well, I, you know what? I'm not even going to attempt to go, oh, well, that's the bow thruster. I mean, well, uh, that is the bow thruster. Oh, yeah, right, right there. Is your thr <laughs> so there's your thruster. Here's your gears. Yeah. Uh, it's got a FLIR, probably night system. Here's your Garmin does have stabilizers, oh, yeah. gotta have that. Yeah, there's one, two, three, four, five, six. Looks like it's got a camera as well. Yep. Backup camera, you got your VHF binoculars, yep. uh, autopilot. Yep. Um, more controls, I'm gonna guess that this uh, monitor is probably more for your download, like Navionics. Yeah, like and it's actually just a computer monitor. Yep. You've got fuel log here, which is pretty cool for both engines. Yep. 
and three more garments. So and check you, out these captain seats. I mean, I'm not feel even the leather on these. I don't, it's they're ridiculous. so soft, and it has this footrest too. Wow. Um, then you also have some some kind of it's an electrical oh, uh, monitoring system here for the pilot house. Uh, yeah, it's just all kinds of electronics. Your Not voltage. Guess what that is. This is a pop-up TV, I yep. would imagine. Yep. Again, sitting up here, you've been fished all day. It's fully enclosed. Fully enclosed. The AC is on, it's very comfortable. You're watching your favorite football game. You yep. just got done catching that giant fish. You're yep. having a cocktail, because you got a wet bar here as well. Yep. And then, if downstairs wasn't enough, you can relax up here. And I'm gonna guess that this is more refrigeration. Watch yep. your step. And, oh, I could totally relax right Talk here. Talk about a nice place for a sundowner. Oh, it's beautiful. And you could barbecue. Not, I thought that was a barbecue. I'm like, I've never seen a white barbecue before, but those are actually uh, oh. controls. Oh, so I was gonna for say. Docking. And then I am afraid of heights, so I am not going to take this ladder up there. If Scott decides to give you a peek, well then just great. I but think I'm... we will fly the drone up there. Okay. <laughs> yes. So I'm anxious to go check out the state rooms. So let's go check them out. So there are four state rooms. I think we start off with the guest staterooms first. Sure. Save the best for last. Absolutely. So moving forward, we have, okay, we have double bunks. Each double bunk, there's a twin on the other side. Yep. They have a TV. They have their own head. And that's, oh, that's, that's the, head. the head. Okay. That's the hanging locker behind that door, which is actually huge for a stateroom of this size. Oh, look at that. Yeah. Um, and then if you want to take a show a peek in here. Let's see. Wow. Oh, nice. It's giant shower. Oh, yeah. Look at that. Wow. Electric toilets? Yep, they look like it. Yep. And we have a twin on the... Other side. On the other side. And then you do have a VIP forward berth, which is very nice. And it's a walk around bed, yep. which is key for me. It has tons of drawers over here, more drawers here. And this is another huge closet. Mm -hmm. And again, TV, this is a makeup station or work area. I mean, I've seen masters or primaries on boats that were not ni as nice as this. Yeah. Be. And then it has its own head as well mm -hmm. with a separate shower. Yep. So. If these are this nice, I gotta see what the master looks like. Let's go check it out. And before we go into the master, right here you have a set of washer and dryer, and you have another set of washer and dryer in the crew rooms. Oh, nice. And we'll give you a peek of those. There are people living in them, but we'll at least give you a peek. Check this thing out. First of all, it has a regular telephone. That's... So I'm not sure, that's funny. I'm not sure where it connects to. It must have a land, some kind of landline. Yeah. This is almost bigger than a king. I mean, it's this is massive. Yeah, I wonder if it's a Cal. Well, okay. California king is longer than a regular Calif or regular king. It just looks wider than a regular. Regular king. king. I think it could be custom made. Could in be. fact, it is huge. Yeah. You've got another makeup stand, plenty of storage. Again, I'm assuming this is a big. Oh, big yeah. deep closet. Big big deep closet. Absolutely, plenty of storage. TV. And then kind of not really a Jack and Jill. I mean, it's got a shower between it. Mm -hmm. And then you've got his and hers vanities. Yeah, I kind of like this actually, yeah. where it's together, but separate. Yeah. So you actually Very have nice. your own space for his and hers. And again, I don't feel like it's outdated at all. Yeah. It is just absolutely stunning. It's very warm feeling in here. Yeah, I like the wood. Yeah. I like everything about it. Let's go see if we can't take a quick peek of the crew cabins. Okay. We won't actually go in everything, but we'll have Scott give you a glimpse. All righty. So to get to the crew quarters, you actually come through the galley, um, and that's because this is a shared galley. So crew and uh, guests 
use the same one. Um, it's actually pretty spacious, but you also access the engine room through there, and that's what Scott wants to show you because we mm -hmm. always get feedback about that. So I'm gonna have him just take you on a tour real quick down there. Again, there are people living in the crew quarters, so we just want to quickly get through there and he'll show you the engine room. Yeah, I'd say the first thing I would say is it's nice to have access to the crew quarters from the main part of the boat. Yeah. You know, you're not relegated to some steep ladder off the bow or anything like that. So as we come in here, it has a full-time crew of three. We have one full bed here. We have bunk beds here. We have their head and separate shower here. So really, really nice quarters here. And then if we go here, we can get into the engine room. Check this out. I'm six feet tall. I still have probably a good six, seven feet over, six or seven inches over my head. We have twin 2,000 horsepower MTUs. I believe there's 16 V16s on either side. It's a, just crazy what we have in here. I'm not gonna pretend that I understand all of the setup here, but I'm just gonna give you quite a, just a little bit of a view of what we're looking at here. So this is the, let me get my bearing straight. This is the starboard engine, port side. We have two 55 kilowatt gen sets. That's enough to run this place, I think. Then we move forward here. We have a little bit of a, we have more of the electronics on either side. Fishing gear quite the setup and of course we have water tight doors on either side of the engine room so really impressive really really nice so let's go back upstairs catch up with Allie and see where we go from there I hope you like this tour we certainly did this is absolutely stunning probably the nicest yacht we've been on so if you did like this tour, be sure to give it a thumbs up and leave your comments down below. If you or anyone else is interested in this sport fisher, we're gonna put all the information to the sales broker down below. It is for sale by One Water Yacht Group as well. Uh, and yes, full disclosure, that is where I work. So all the information is down here and I'm happy to provide you with any more you need. Stay tuned because we've got more great tours coming up. Thanks everyone.